to answer questions from the live audience. Hmm. Members of our audience can either comment their questions. Okay. If the speaker slot is full, they can also DM them on the end, on the other end. Okay. We want to make sure that all questions are taken into an effect. Everyone is valued. Everyone matters. Definitely. Recordings of each event will be available here on Twitter and YouTube in case you guys missed the event. Mm. We'll be posting it on my page as well as Pi Clubhouse. Um, and I'm sure that there will be many other pioneers that are going to be retweeting the space as well. So I would stay keen and updated mm. for the next few weeks. It's going to be very exciting. And we hope to give you guys um, nourishment that we need. We understand the last few months has been a little bit hectic. Um, it's been quiet. Definitely. Everyone's excited. Everyone's antsy. Remember, the Pi Core team is, is, is teaching us about patience. Right. It's the not. It's not the Pi community Pi that's not ready. Silent. Everyone's yeah. after Pi. It's Pi that's not ready. Pi still needs its time. Yes, definitely. And so we want to work with that time and be as patient as possible. Correct, brother. I yield the mic to the speakers if they want to say anything, or to my brother, my 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 host, my clubhouse. I yield the mic. Okay. Um. um thank you very much. Um. I believe if anybody wants to add to that, um, is he's not uh, portable. I don't know. So want to just go straight. There, there's a problem with his mic. He's already. It's a discussion uh, we had today, which is fine. It's not beyond portable. freedom. Um. To just educate them because um. We didn't just want to make today about the announcement as we planned, but we just want to throw a little thing because, of course, this is about educating people about Pi Network. Mm -hmm. So, um, does any of the speaker want to say something? Pi Music or Pi Cameroon or my boss, Mr. Benjamin, do you have something to say? Hello, Pi News. Um, my name is Peter, uh, co founder of Pi Music. I don't know if anyone of you can hear me. Okay. We can speak, brother. All right. So, um, Pi Network is a very big project. Yes. That yes. anyone that understands the real meaning of Pi mm. will have to, you know, do something for Pi. So this is the reason why Pi Music is here. We are trying to empower um, those that don't have the oh, financial yeah. support to put their talent out there. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, Pi Music is a very, uh, I mean, Pi Network is a very big project that big project. everyone can fit in, you know, That's in the future, where people the morning, clearly okay. understand the meaning um, of Pi is a lifestyle. See, in the early days Pi is a lifestyle uh, cryptocurrencies, that cryptocurrencies were consists in the of everything. Okay. Anything you can build but for Pi, just Pi build it. Definitely. You must find it users. Is in so this is the reason why we are here. Once we empower those talented like musicians fire, out there, jungle. they don't have money like, to push their music uh, for single, uh, for the you public. Can, you, can you know, one, at least they can one person from a put up their music there and the pioneers can listen and even patronize them. Who have access so this to is what we are doing. And they are using Pi. I so, so much appreciate it is very, brother, it is very um, large pro project. My brother projects out there that is doing of this massive of this project right now. For the success they will of Pi. Thank you. Year or two when the uh, thank you very much will um, pick up and the ecosystem um, will pick up. Does anybody want to say something yeah. else? Yes. Okay. Okay. You can go ahead. So I think they are wrapping it up. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. And so we we wanted to get into the small discussion about uh, the network beyond financial freedom. Hmm. The network beyond financial freedom. So first we have to understand what does that mean? Hmm. What is a network beyond financial freedom? Hmm. And how can we get there? Hmm. One thing that I seen a few days ago, I seen a bunch of guys looking into it was just yesterday. They were looking into Satoshi Nakamoto. A lot of 
pioneers, a lot of crypto enthusiasts. So many people are looking into Satoshi Nakamoto. And why is that? Well, just within the last week, an exchange went down in bankruptcy. The SBF, um, I know that that has been kind of running through. Many pioneers did probably didn't know what that was. Or Sam Bankman Fried. Well, these guys created an exchange. That was FTX, not FTX. And did pretty much the exact same Get thing that many FBI governments do today. And they came and created funny money and sold it for billions. Yes. And so when they created that funny money, it didn't have any utility utility or backing. Yeah. And so they used a lot of the funds from their customers if money uh, to spend on, utility, you know, God say. knows what. He's correct. Uh, but when it came full circle and the customers were asking for their funding back, there was no way to get it back. As well so as when once a lot of go on, governments started looking you know, into it. We cannot bring it They out. were closed down. Uh, and then a lot of other sectors were also closed down. Or uh, we can go back 10 or 11 years ago. Once again, Satoshi Nakamoto came out and with an idea, a theory. And it was expressed in code as well as in what we know today as Bitcoin. Yeah. And from then on, Bitcoin has given a lot of people the dream of empowerment, of decentralization, hmm. the dream of having their own, hmm. of completely having their own, and also doing with their financials what they want. Instead of what we have today, we have banking systems. Yeah. The centralized we have systems. a system where we yeah. have to go through a third party yeah. to get validations our own money, we have to accepted. Go to to take it and therefore, they can do you know, whatever they want with send, your fundings when it's in their somewhere. hands. You know, they can take a charge of, they, they just take charge of your uh, money. You know? It's a great they thing for them and their they, system uh, and their business. Money. And but it's you, a terrible you thing. Are earning just 3. It may not be a, such a good thing <clears throat> when it comes to and, and, and they are the community more than you or the people or their money. customers that you're trying to help. No. And so now we're in the point. We're at a point like mm. we were over a hundred years ago, where we're looking for currency, yeah, a currency to get us moving forward. And it looks like my boss has something to say as well. Yeah. You can go ahead, boss. You can add on whenever you're ready. I yield the mic. All right. Thank you very much, Pizza. No, Benjamin is. Sorry, I'm a little bit much. under the weather, so my <clears throat> my throat is kind of like slimy. But I think uh, you guys are hearing me loud and clear, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right, I'm brother. the same way, but we can hear you loud yeah, and clear, yeah. boss. Yeah. So, we can hear Pi Network beyond financial freedom. Definitely. And uh, just as Pizza Delivery Guy has, has rightly uh, set the, the cause of discussion in motion, hmm. I think we should understand um, the scope of financial freedom. Hmm. Most especially as most of us are used to the traditional the traditional generic banking system or the traditional generic financial system mm. that has to do with banks, insurance systems, and the policy, <clears throat> the, 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 the monetary policies mm. of most of uh, the central banks of respective countries, mm. or the Fed Reserve, as the case of the United States of America is concerned. Mm. Now, uh, Pi Network, one of many cryptocurrencies, has in its broad spectrum of service ability for you mm. to kind of like have a more rewarding experience mm. uh, in using your Pi coins as a means of payment. Mm. 
But the cause of this discussion is trying to um, broaden the discourse. Mm. Could Pine Network go beyond the freedom to buy whatever you want to buy? That's uh, the, the, the whole topic of discourse, if I'm going to rephrase it in a layman, mm. layman's perspective. And I think the answer is yes. Mm. Yes, in the sense that while we are uh, pioneers in this cycle of the crypto community, mm. I think even in a larger extent, most cryptocurrency enthusiasts, mm. most cryptocurrency traders and the mm. likes are also pioneers in their respective perspectives. Uh, we will we will appreciate this statement 10 years from now. Mm. We'll appreciate this statement 15 years from now. Mm. Now we all are just touching a new trend of global finance. Mm. One of the areas I which I think Pi Network mm. uh, goes beyond uh, uh, financial uh, freedom, as the case may be, yeah. is in trying to solve uh, the problem as indicated with global finance. Now, so beyond you trying to buy what you want to buy, when you want to buy, is the problem that currently monetary control my uh, regulators, mm. uh, monetary policy makers, and these are the global ones. Let come. Someone asked a question. I think he is it's uh, bleeding. Okay. So I'm going to kind of like put two yeah, things into perspective. Gonna... The first is the use case, or rather, the biggest use case we have in the cryptocurrency space today is crypto exchanges. Yeah. And uh, until decentralized exchanges comes into the space the centralized exchanges are the biggest use case in exchanges mm. and with the like of mark box with the like of uh please reply uh, uh, magnet.com uh can you please hold on while we we move to the next session probably we'll answer your questions Master Gautam, okay. And okay. coaching person. Thank you very much. Got them. Yes, got so them. while at the stage of uh, the Let cryptocurrency uh, appreciation, we will Let agree that followers. the biggest use case actually has to do with exchanges. And in exchanges, we have centralized exchanges, the buy and the patient. call as the big Person. use cases, the Just big use scenarios. And with the likes of Mark Gox in the past and, and right now, the FTX, uh, the big question now is, is it really, really financial freedom? Mm. While the answer behind the scene is actually yes, mm. I think a lot of people may be clouded because of the fact that all the use cases mm. or all the use cases for cryptocurrency Mm. have not come have not blossomed mm. because the most of the use cases we have is exchanges and with exchanges the thing that behind our backs or between the thing behind our minds is trying to get value so oftentimes most coins are bought hoarded, and sold mm. just to make income Pi network in relation to this is trying to bring about the emergence, emergence of an alternative use case. Mm. And that's where we bring about the idea of what we call utilities. utilities. Now, utilities, if utilities are as adopted as exchanges are adopted, it gives you the feel beyond uh, financial freedom. It puts into context what financial freedom uh, can do and how far it can go. Mm. Many of the use cases within the ecosystem and mm. even those who are into uh, uh, business application, that's services mm. that are outside the buy ecosystem, mm. I get to just ensure that you have not one use case option, but mm. have as many they, use they, case options as possible when it comes to the utility of your